So good morning, sir. So we are the third presenter. I am Estrella Morel Jane. I'm Michael Lote. I'm Angelica Albergas. I'm Rachel Galeno. And I'm John Mark D. Perez. And our study is all about a correlational study of the weekly allowance and academic performances of university students. So the importance of the study. The importance of the study is to, to know the relationship between the weekly allowance and academic performance of the university student. And also, we want to know if it affects the academic performance due to its allowances. So we choose this topic or study because as students, we want to know the significant relationship. And also, this study relates to us. So let's go to our conceptual framework. So our conceptual framework, our independent variable is the weekly allowance and our dependent variable is the academic performance. So as we can see, it's the statement of the problem in which the respondents must answer the following questions. And the, the following questions includes the demogra demographic profile of the respondents and the mean weekly allowance of the university students and the lastly, the significance between the two variables, which is the weekly allowance and the academic performance of university students in Ateneo de Davao University. So the hypothesis, since we are about to study or we are going to conduct a research about this this topic, so we we conclude the hypo, null hypo, hypothesis that there is no significant relationship between the weekly allowance and academic performance of university students. So this may vary if we will reject this or we will fail to reject this if we uh, we do the um, the process using the statistical tools. So methods. Um, the participants. So the researcher gathered the data from the Ateneo de Davao University students came from different um, divisions, which is the SBG, SOE, SEA, SS, SON, SAS, and others. So um, um, the, re the, respondents, um, the respondents were gathered using either respond respondents were gathered I, the responses were gathered using the systemat uh, the researchers used the systematic random sampling um, with the um, interval of five so since the population is unknown we use the Cochrane formula to estimate the sample size of the um, use uh, of the of the study of, of the oh yes so uh, so we used five as the interval on on selecting the 380 students. So we didn't. Um, so the so since um, our the 380 students, um, some of it have an error. So 340 lang yung um, na yung tama sa aming sa aming uh, uh, data. So next is the the materials and the procedures so um so the researcher used a digital survey tools digital survey questionnaire to um to to get the response of the respond of the respondents and then um so each member was assigned in um different parts of the school premises and then um each one of us are oriented to have a uh, to have a properly to have a properly um to properly orient the objectives and the um, benefits of the study. We use the Kolmogorov Smirnov test to test the normality of our data. Since the data is not normal because the significance value is 0 0.00 and, and the assumption is 0 0.05. Therefore, we will reject the null hypothesis and we will use this Spearman correlation test. On average, the mean grade of the univer university students is 76.55 and the mean allowance is 1,422.22 pesos. Hence, the students have negligible correlation. 
since the R value is 0 0.05, this implies that the weekly allowance will have a effect, an effect to the grades. So, conclusion. Does the study showed that the relationship between the weekly allowances and academic performance of the university students from different school divisions, the SVG, SOE, SEA, SON, SS, SAS, and others are equal in their significant value. Therefore, weekly allowances and academic performance has significant relationship. So, implications. The results showed that the weekly allowances and academic performance has significant relationship. This exhibited the weekly allowances always matter with the academic performances. It also shows that there are hindering effects between the allowances in striving in their academics. So the study promotes that withstanding the amount of the allowances of the college students, um, the academic performance excels in students' perseverance and determination.